name is Mad Ronald. I'm from West Side Rolling 20s Neighborhood Bloods. What came first, Rolling 20s or NHB? Neighborhood came first. It was um, when I was a kid. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you history. I share. I bet you I get history. In 1955, there was Blood Alley. Blood Alley was a multi-generational group that lasted from 1955 up until about 1970. Around 1970, there was also another group called the Vultures. The Vultures existed in the 20s just like Blood Alley did, but Blood Alley was more historical because it went back before uh, Neighborhood and the Vultures. So basically, uh, it was neighborhood first because the vultures in Blood Alley was what formed neighborhood, the first generation neighborhood in 1970. And then around 19, I say around 1978, NHB formed. We were rolling 20s back then. I, rolling 20s was there before I was there. And uh, I, the thing about it then, you had the Hoover families down at Hoover Park on Hoover and Adams. Hoover family was rolling 20s. The City Stones, the Black Peace Stones, they claimed Rolling Twenties. And I don't know if Midtown Family claimed Rolling Twenties, but in those days, the Rolling Twenties existed of more than just NHB, and the Outlaws were Rolling Twenties also. You mentioned Midtown. What was Midtown at? Uh, where the World on, World on Wheels skating ring used to be. And they were families over there? It was Midtown Family when I was a kid. Aligned with the Bloods? They were Midtown Family, was Bloods. Okay. Uh, what was ground zero for the 20s? When I was a kid, uh, like Bud Long and Adams, 27th and Bud Long, um, Normandy and Adams. Our, my generation is the generation that brought uh, NHB across Normandy because I lived on 27th and Dalton. I got older brothers and uh, we was all, when we, when we were kids growing up, on the side of Dalton, we lived on, on the side of Normandy we lived on. There was another, there were other groups over there. The boundary between the 20s and the 30s back in that day was like 29th Street because of the school district. Um, if you lived south of 29th Street, you were in the Fauche School District. If you lived north of 29th, you was in the Mount Vernon School District. If you went to Fauche, you was a Crip. If you went to Mount Vernon, you were a Blood. So in our area, we claimed neighborhood way back then because of the fact of our affiliations with the neighborhood. And at the, but at the same time, our ground zero was somewhere in the area, let's say like Normandy and Adams. And also at that time, it was like 20th and LaSalle also because of the fact that we were in the area around Washington and Normandy. That's where the neighborhood originated. What year did NHB actually form? Can you put a year on that? Let me see, man. I'm a, uh, now me myself personally, I am a third generation member of Neighborhood and a first generation member of Neighborhood Blood. We, the, the, the beat came about uh, between around 78 and 80. It, it was formed through like the conglomeration of us, of a group of us, because of the fact that, you know, at, you had a lot of independent gangs that existed, and they, did, they just existed as the gangs that they were. But we were bloods already, because already our alliance was with the families and the Brims and the Black Peace Stones, but we went to our route, which was Blood Alley. And the B came from the first and second generation of the um, solidarity of the social groups there. The first generation was Blood Alley, and that's where, blood, that's where the B came from. The second generation was neighborhood. Well, prior to putting the B in it, are you aware of any other gangs that, was, that actually had the B in their name, signifying blood? Uh, not really, because the thing about it was that, let's say for instance, the only other groups that I could think of that had a B on them was like Brim. And because the, the Brim was the first consolidated blood gang that I knew of. You know what I mean? You know, they had Fruit Town 59, uh, Harbor Park, you know what I mean? Uh, they had uh, 40 Fruit Town Brims, and the B represented Brim with them, basically. You know what I mean? But all of us still had that tight alliance, and all of us were all still blood. So when you use the B, that was just something that everybody represented, which was common. If you could name five top dogs that founded 20s or NHB, I'm not talking about Blood Alley, but if you could put a face on it, who, who, would, who would they be? Skip, Coco, Red, Frankie Germany, Dwayne Newton. And you guys 
are one of the biggest gangs on the west side? Yeah, said to be one of the biggest gangs. I know one of the biggest blood gangs because, I mean, territorially, we have the whole district of West Adams. Then we filter into Arlington Heights, and then we're in um, University Park. And uh, we also filter into um, the area above, up the hill, uh, what is that, Jefferson Park. We also in Jefferson Park, also partially. Do you guys ever bump, in, bump heads with City Stones? Yeah, we have an alliance with the City Stones. Those, City Stones are family to us. That's our family. You know, us and the City Stones, we're tight because, you know, one street divides us, so we all overlap. At the same time, we're the same way with the Fruit Town Brims. All of us all overlap. We all intermingle. We all intermix. You know what I mean? We all family. You got some of our, some of us and some of our families, you might have a brother that might be a City Stone, a brother that might be from 20s or considering where we at today, generationally, you might have the f a father might be from City Stones and the son might be a 20, you know what I mean? Or the same way on the Fruit Town Brim side. So with the same hold true for the jungles? With our alliances? Yes. Yes. Um. Well, the difference with the jungle is that the jungle don't sit next to us. So our familiarity with them, we know them through history, we know them through blood, through the com our camaraderie, but they don't have the kinship like the city does because of the fact that before gang banging, we all went to the same schools. Us and the City Stones are in the same school district. I went to Mount Vernon Junior High School off of Washington and 8th Avenue. I went to 24th Street Elementary School. So you, if you consider the school districts where the City Stones are in the 20s are at, we all overlap and go to the same schools. How many cliques are there in the 20s? 27, 29, 25th Avenues, the, uh, there's B, and there's BBN in Los Angeles. And BBN is the Belizean Blood Nation. So the uh, the original the original 20s come out the avenues? No, the original no. Rolling 20s originally. Rolling 20s came from the area around the Rosedale Cemetery, mm. 20th Street. When I was a child, when I was affiliated, I used to hang out, when my affiliation came about because all my friends that I, well, I went to 24th Street Elementary School with, they lived in the area around 20th Street in Normandy. They lived in that area over there. And when I was a kid after school, I would go over there and hang out with them. And a lot of them had older brothers and stuff that were affiliated. As a child, I looked up to these guys. At the same time, I was around the area around Normandy and Adams and Budlong because I lived all on Dalton 27th Street. But Originally, we, the, the original set came from the same area of town where Blood Alley came from, and that was out of the area around the cemetery on Normandy and uh, Washington. Um, let me ask you about a few of the surrounding gangs in the area. Who spilled blood first in the 20 and 30 war? Hmm, that's a good question. But that, that that's so old. Right. That beef goes back to the original. That goes back so far back because the twenties and the thirties. I think that man, that's a old good. I'm not gonna tell you like this. I know this for a fact. I know that back in the seventies, that one of the first people in the twenties that was killed was from Hoover family. Was killed by the thirties. And that was back in the 70s, but that was Hooper Family, that wasn't Neighborhood, but Neighborhood and Hooper Family was one of those two, those two groups like that also, where we overlapped and all of us were all related. Uh, who was, who, what gangs, if you know, attended Manuel Warts in the early 70s? What Bloods or Brim gangs attended? The, all the Brims attended, the Brims originated around the Manuel Warts School District. From what I've heard from a lot of OGs was that uh, the Brims originated at Magnoirs. I don't know how true that is, but at the same time, um, the Brims, the, it was uh, all of the Brim gangs that went there. The 20s, uh, uh, neighborhood 20s went there, the Hoover families went there. Um, who else? Just the adjacent gangs, which were the school district, because the same way that the Brims are in the southern region of the Magnoirs school district, back then, before West Adams High School was open, the 20s was in the northern region of the uh, Magnoirs school district. And when I uh, researched gangs from the early 70s, there was a lot of wars going on in Manuel Wars, but I don't hear nobody talk about it on the street. No, they don't talk about it. I remember when they killed, um, Manuel Wars was a blood school, and the dude was killed up there from 30s. I remember that a long time ago. Uh, and the, the guy was shot. They shot him on campus, and they said a brim shot him, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he was killed in the lunch area. After that, the school changed over, and it would be—I don't know how that happened, 
but there was like an evolution and the entire school changed over and the, and the next thing you know it became a crip school over time. It's, it's, it's a trip. It's a dude right now that I, that I, that I know it would be in the neighborhood, an older guy. I went to the gang conference or whatever it was that they had on 80th and Vermont um, some months back. And they had all the Bloods and Crips come out and uh, they had like the game out there. When, and when not long after they, they showed up downtown LA, Remember when the game and Snoop Dogg was downtown? Yeah, yeah. And remember the minister, Minister Tony and them had called everybody to the mosque not long ago, right? Yeah. So I'm sitting in the meeting, I'm, I'm listening to this, and it's a guy come up from Compton. So the dude was talking from Compton, and he started saying names of guys, right? Real dudes that was out there that had reputations and good dudes that were well respected. So I'm listening to him talk. So then he said the name of a dude, right? And there's a dude in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood. I've known him since I was a little kid, older dude. Now he had old kind of, he kind of, I need he's a drinker. So he always babbles a lot. You know how dude get drunk and they always talking. I'm here, I know such and such, I know this dude, and he just dropping names. I'm listening to him talk. So I never regarded him, right? But I hear a dude get up here and start talking from, um, this dude was from uh, Carver Park. And he's talking, he said, yeah, they don't know such and such and such and such. And this dude, this dude, and this dude right here, one of the dudes that started our hood and the dudes that set it off and this and this. And he said the dude's name, and I swear, I sat there and looked and said, oh, wait a minute. I had to go back to the neighborhood when I seen him. I said, hey man, you this dude that this guy was talking about over here that did all this with the carpet parks and all this here and the Compton and this and this? And the dude was like, yeah, man, you know this, I've been telling y'all this all this time. <laughs> I'm looking at the dude like, whoa, because I disregarded him. He was one of them OGs that I didn't regard him as nobody because he was, his agenda wasn't nothing. Right. Uh, let me ask you about the uh, 18th Street War. What year did that start? The 18th, the issue, the beef with 18 started around, might be 90, but when it started with the Black Peace Stones, because the 18th Streets don't view us as like uh, the 20s, the 20s and the Black Peace Stones, they view Bloods as Bloods. And you know what I mean? So the key to that is, and the, the thing about it is that we, like us and the Black Peace Stones down, like the, us and the City Stones are so intermingled, you can turn one corner and the 20s on one corner, turn another corner, it might be City Stones on another corner, you might turn another corner and everybody's in the same group. So they regard everybody as the same. So about the time that they killed Billy Herb, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they killed Billy Herb around 90, I might be I might be wrong. That but, was at Dorsey High? No. No? No, that was at the 10th Avenue Swap Me. Yeah, I'm Washington. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I might have my years wrong, but that's about the time that it all had enacted. But it's been, something been brewing for, for, for a while because 18, started developing in the Crip neighborhoods in the 80s, like down on the other side of uh, Adams and west, west of uh, like Crenshaw. And the 18s were trying to be, years ago it was rumored, like the Harpies, the Harpies been around us forever. Uh, the Harpies, my old boys been intermingling with each other since like 1960. The thing about the Harpies was that everybody used to always say the Harpies is down with the Bloods, right? Because Harpies is in Black Peace Stone Hood, they in the 20s, they in Fruitown Brim neighborhood, and they all they interact with us. They interact with us, and we all know each other, been on each other forever. All of us go back before gang banging. The the 18th Streets used to try to be that way also, with the Crips. That was the thing. Later on, they would say 18 is down with the Crips and Harpies is down with the Bloods. But later on, it became a bigger situation because of the fact that you know 18 Serenio, so they can't be down with no blacks. Yeah, the uh, red handkerchiefs didn't do nothing to make people not think Harpies was down with Bloods, right? Well, they right, right. They well, they were. Harpies was down with us, or because like our, my OG homies grew up with the OG Harpies long before the Serenio politics and all this extra stuff. When they was doing time in YA, when everybody, they, you might have been down with this dude just because you came out of the same area you came out of. What can you tell me about uh, the dead end? That's Dead End and Harpies the same thing, dead or just two, two clicks that merged? Dead, dead End was a football team. Dead End was like a football team. They got a lot of little groups that were like football teams, and they evolved and became actual gangs, or whatever kind of little groups. Or they might have been one of them um, a social group. I remember Dead End was just Dead End. I remember, I remember them, I used to actually, with some of them guys I used to hang out with, some of the original ones. Then at the same time, um, you had other groups like uh, you got Wild Bunch. Wild Bunch was like a like, like its own independent group at a time too, and they they're part of Harpies also. 